I'll call this uh, meeting to order on Monday, July 2nd, 2018. I want to welcome everyone. Very glad to have with us tonight Pastor Dyke Ber Burkett, Life Church, Smyrna Assembly of God at 4100 King Springs Road, who will come forward to give us our invocation and also lead us in the place of flag. Would everyone please rise? Grateful tonight, Lord, for this opportunity to uh, serve our city. I pray that you will guide uh, and give wisdom, Lord, to, to this mayor, this council. Thank you, Lord, that we can rely on you and trust in you, that you have blessed us to be in a great nation. As we move forward, Lord, we thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, and your strength. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Would you say the Pledge of Allegiance with me? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And for those folks that are new in town or want to change or looking for something different, the folks at uh, Life Church, the Sim Smart Assembly of God at 4100 King Springs Road, I'm sure they'd love to have you. Uh, I've been there several times, and uh, they get you moving. There's no question about that. So uh, thank you very much for coming tonight. Thank you. Agenda changes. Uh, we do have one agenda change, item E, on the consent agenda. Uh, we need a motion to delete that item from the consent agenda and to add another item E on there. Uh, I will ask that, uh, first of all, I get a motion to Suspend the rules to delete this item. Make a motion to suspend the rules to delete this item. Second. I have a motion um, to delete this item. Um, all those in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. Or, or vote. You can go and vote. I think we got everything hooked up. Is that correct? Let's see. All right, that's four zero. We have two that are absent tonight. Uh, Council Member Derek Norton and Council Member Susan Wilkes. So they are out. They're out of town, on vacation, I believe. All right, now we need to have an item. At, we need to add item E to the agenda. So I'll ask Councilman Welch if he will add um, item E to the consent agenda. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, I'd like to add an item two zero one eight dash two one five to uh, award the uh, bids for RFP 18-015 for resurfacing project and authorize uh, the mayor to sign all documents. I have a motion, gonna get a second. I have a motion and a second by Ms. Blackburn. All those in favor of the motion, please vote. That's approved four zero. Okay, uh, under the mayor's report, uh, I just want to mention one thing. I know we have an election coming up uh, the 24th of July, is that correct? Um, if there's anyone here that's running for any of those positions, I'll give you an opportunity now to uh, come up and this, it doesn't cost you anything as long as you keep it short. But. Hi, thank you. I'm, uh, I'm Tim Gould and there's 22 days until the election on July 24th. So I'm running for the uh, Ward 6 uh, City Council seat that's currently open. I'm running to support our residents in Ward 6, make sure folks are engaged uh, in any zoning and growth related activities, to support public and private partnerships with our uh, schools, and, uh, and really do try to do a great job being engaged and supportive of our residents uh, of Smyrna and particularly of Ward 6. Thank you. Anyone else running for any office? Okay. Good. Uh, just under the mayor's report, I do want to just uh, to recognize uh, our um, public works director, Scott Stokes, who has been employed by the city for, um, he started in June before I got elected in January of 80. He's been here 39 years. He has uh, accepted a position uh, at an, at, in another community. Uh, we wish him well. Scott, we thank you for your service to the citizens and uh, Believe me, uh, the, the, his face never changes. Um, if, if you could just zero in on that face. Uh, that's. <laughs> uh, 
He's going to feel terrible because he almost caught him smiling. We do appreciate all the, the good work Scott started when he was 20 years old. Um, as a, I don't know if it was a, did you start as a backhoe operator or just a, he reminded me that he was not a Smurf. That's what uh, they used to call the employees that almost had the same color shirt on as the guys got in the back. And uh, we actually got those through a great program with the federal government. It was, um, I don't know what it was, but we every summer we hired um, uh, kids uh, and they wore blue shirts and Vic Broyles used to call them his Smurfs. So, uh, but he was not a Smurf. He started off as a backhoe operator, worked his way up to public works director. So we wish you uh, a lot of good success. We appreciate all the good years that you've given us. Um, I think that's all under the mayor's report. Uh, item four is land issues, zonings, and annexation. We have nothing. Item five is privileged licenses. We have nothing. Item six is formal business. We have nothing. Seven is commercial building permits. We have none. Item eight is the consent agenda. Uh, Ms. Jones, will you please read the consent agenda for council's approval? Thank you, Mayor. Good evening, everyone. The consent agenda reads as follows. Approval of the June 18th, 2018 Mayor and Council Meeting Minutes. Item B, approval of the June 18th, 2018 Pre-Council Meeting Minutes. Item C, approval of the May 31st, 2018 Committee of the Whole Meeting Minutes. Item D, approval of the certification of agreement for the allocation and distribution of proceeds from the title at Valorum Tax, TAVT, between the City of Smyrna and Cobb County and authorize the mayor to sign any related documents. The percentage for local governments in 2017 was 45.61%. This will increase to 51.58%. Smyrna will receive 7.45% of the amount distributed to local governments. Item E, reject all bids. No, nope. that's right. Here you go. Sorry about that. I got it. Uh, item E, pardon me, award RFP 18-015 Smyrna, City of Smyrna resurfacing projects to the lowest bidder, Baldwin Paving, located at 1040 Ken Mill Drive, Marietta, Georgia, 30060 for $870,797.47 and to authorize the mayor to execute any related documents. Item F, reject all bids for RFP 18-022 Community Center Roof Replacement and authorize the rebid of the Community Center Roof Replacement Project. Item G, award RFP 18-018 HVAC Replacement City Hall and Jail to the lowest bidder Q T contract con, contract contracting DBA powers heating and air 200 Tiger Way Peachtree City Georgia 30269 for 297,637 dollars without the control system option and authorize the mayor to execute any related documents. And item E, authorize Smyrna Little League to accept donations for parking and city lots, approval of a road closure for the state Little League tournament, organized by the Smyrna Little League, and authorize extended hours for parking lots, parking lights. The road closure includes Hunter Road between Concord Road and Dunn Street Southeast in Brinkley Park for the duration of the tournament from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Saturday, July 14th, and June 15th, 4 p.m. to 11 p.m. on Monday, July 16th, through Friday, July 20th, Saturday, July 21st, from 7 a.m. to 12 p.m., and Sunday, July 22nd, from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. The park light schedule will be extended to 1 a.m. on for Monday, July 16th through Friday, July 20th. Move approval of the consent agenda. All those in favor of the motion, please vote. It's approved 4-0. Thank you very much. 
Item nine is committee reports. We'll start tonight with Mr. Ron Fennell. Mr. Mayor, I just uh, urge all citizens to obey the uh, Georgia Distractive Driver Law and uh, see the Smyrna Police Department uh, for your uh, tool that you can uh, use. Otherwise, they'll see you about your citation. And I hope that everybody has a safe holiday and uh, be careful out there. Mr. Corker Welch. Your Honor, I want to add something to what Ron said. I, I think our Smyrna Police Department is um, offering some hands-free devices. Um, and I don't do they need to come by the police department to pick them up or I, I would say I don't know that they, they they may they had a thousand I think they may be out of them okay so I'm just excuse me for speaking too soon no uh, or too late I asked for three today and couldn't get them so <laughs> um, they may still have some despite that <laughs> <laughs> anyway yep uh, Miss Marilyn Blackburn thank you mayor um, I just first of all want to say thank you to uh, my Ward 3 residents that come out and to the City Council meetings and support what we're doing. You're here and you're involved and I appreciate that. Thanks for coming out. Just to kind of tag on to what Corky and um, Mr. Fennell uh, said about the hands-free device that our police um, force they were handing out. If you can't get one, you can go to Napa and um, they have them at Napa. You can go there and get them in there. Not expensive at all. And the third thing I want to share is um, the Smyrna Public Safety Foundation is going to be hosting their annual um, Heroes Gala. And this year it's the Blue Jean Gala. It's August the 18th, uh, 630 till 11. It's going to be at Wallace Hall, which is at Adventure Outdoors. There's going to be dancing, live entertainment, and a silent auction. So you can go to Smyrna psf.org to uh, get additional information and tickets and we hope you s to see you there in support of our local police and fire thank you and with that i yield uh, miss uh, bluestein uh, yes your honor um first i want to say thank you so much scott for being there for us for all these years when we first started i know that we ca we called scott and asked him some really crazy questions but we didn't know any better, and he was very patient with us and always got us an answer, and we're going to miss you very much. But I hope you enjoy your next career. So um, on the hands-free devices, if you have one of those Apple phones that are heavy, Apple is selling something made by Belkin, which I'm sure you probably could buy uh, um, on Amazon too, but it, the way it's made, it expands out rather than you putting putting it on on it and um, I went over and bought one and I have because my phone on the other kind it would just fall on the floor so that wasn't working real well but this device um, or something on that order might be something you could use and it makes it great for you know driving around the last thing I want to tell you about is we wanted to remind you that the July summer concert featuring the throwback experience will be Saturday, July 14th from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. on the Village Green, and we hope to see all of you there. And thank you very much. Mr. Fennell, do you have something else? Yes, Mr. Mayor. Uh, it's my privilege to uh, announce the annual State of the City Address uh, by our mayor, who gives an annual address on the state of our city with data uh, and uh, anecdotes that are worth the cost of admission uh, to register uh, you need to go to the Cobb Chamber. There is no board. admission. How's that? There is no admission. Like I said it's, <laughs> wor it's worth what, what you're paying for <laughs> but it's a joint meeting uh, hosted by the uh, uh, Smyrna Area Council and the Cobb Chamber and the Smyrna Business Association. We're in the Community Center. It is Thursday July 12th at 1130 a.m. Uh, it's a sellout. It always is. Uh, and it's worth it if you have the opportunity to get squeezed in the door. The meal's good, and it'll be a fun, entertaining day. And I encourage everyone to show up to see uh, the mayor present his State of the City address. And thank you for allowing me to give that. Ms. Uh, Jones, anything else? I just wanted to remind everybody that city offices will be closed on Wednesday, July 4th, in observance for Independence Day. And I, too, want to say congratulations to Scott Stokes. He's given 110% every single time he works and comes to our organization. So I wish him the best in his uh, new career at his new municipality. So thank you, Scott. 
Mr. Andrews. Mr. Cocker. You don't want to say anything about Scott Stokes? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ms. Graham. Yes, I would. I'd like. I'd like to talk about uh, the election, if I could. I'm not going to spill coffee, but um, the election voting began today, July the 2nd. It will be held at the main office the July 2nd and 3rd, and the 5th and 6th at the main office Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. They will be closed on July the 4th. On, um, then they'll reopen on July the 9th through the 13th, 8 to 5 at the main office and July 14th, Saturday, 8 to 4, and July the 16th through the 20th, they'll be open from 8 to 5. There will also be um, the satellite voting areas in East Cobb, North Star Church, South Cobb Community Center, and West Cobb, and those will be open July the 16th through the 20th, Monday through Friday, 8 to 6 p.m. So go out and vote. Thank you, and I'd also like to say that it's been such a pleasure working with Scott Stokes, and I wish him well for his next endeavor. All right, um, we do not have a um, show calls hearing, and no one has signed up for citizens' input. There's no other business to be brought for this body. I declare this meeting adjourned at seven six. Yes, we always we sign up to speak. Uh, then I, 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 I do have citizens' input, uh, and I did not sign. Just uh, come up, tell us who you are, where you live at, and, and any comments you'd like to make. Good evening. Valerie George, 462 Cooper Woods Court, Southeast Smyrna, Georgia, 30082. I'm in Quirky's ward. Mm -hmm. And uh, he mentioned that I have a request, and he mentioned that I should bring it before the city council. And I called uh, Ms. Jones and was told by one of her associates that I should just come and address the council, so that's what I'm doing. So I'm about to do a project at my home, and it's a construction project. Um, I, my subdivision only has 14 homes, so we have a very small street, and even when they did the walkthrough, there were about 10 vehicles and it got kind of crowded. So what I'm asking for is um, approval from the council to use an area right by my house to park temporarily while they're doing the construction, um, with, for the construction vehicles to park temporarily. I'm right at the end of North Cooper Lake. What is it, road, street, anyway. I'm right at the end where the Silver Comet Trail is so it's right where North Cripple Lake dead ends. There are a whole bunch of no parking signs. You can either go left to go into Churchill Downs or right to go into my subdivision. So I was just wondering if there is a procedure to get temporary rights for 92, 120 days for my construction folks to park in this little cul-de-sac area. Um, yeah, I don't know that um, that's something that you need to Check with uh, administration, Ms. Jones. Um, uh, I don't know that we can, uh, the council could not grant you that tonight, I don't think. We don't have enough information. You're asking for 90 or 120 days? Yeah, the project three to should four last. Months. Excuse me? It's three to four months? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know that we, I don't know that we have enough information. Yeah, uh, and I'm, we we email back and forth a couple of times. I, I think the proper procedure would be is to talk with Tammy first and ask that that item be put on the agenda because the police chief's going to have to weigh into it and and so forth. And I, he he and I have spoken already, but it, it, it's we we have to vote on that. Okay. We we voted to put the parking signs out there, and and if we waive it, we've got to vote to waive it. So I would talk to Tammy and see. Okay. I mean. Sure. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Okay. Anybody else that didn't sign up this here wants to? I let. Uh, I normally don't do that, but we, we'll let you. We'll make exception. Okay. If there's no other business, I declare this meeting adjourned at seven nineteen. Have a good four. Me too. Hi.